Hi, I'm George, and we'll be doing some photo retouching in here on this portrait, and part of that is going to be using the frequency separation tool from Elements Plus. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on share and subscribe, hit that bell icon for notifications of my new videos, and check out my complete training for Photoshop Elements, and there's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, the first thing we need to do, just get this out of the way, we'll go on to our layers right here, and as I normally do, I'll make a duplicate of the background layer. Let's just go ahead and choose that. And then I'll hide that background. We'll be using this for our basic photo retouch. That way we leave the original untouched. In case we mess up, we can always go back to that. Now the first thing I want to do is to go through and just do some real quick basic stuff in here. And we'll start off with just a little bit of this peach fuzz right along in the chin down here and right there. And for that, I'll use the clone stamp tool. And bring my size up just a little bit. Looks pretty good right there, about 19 pixels, opacity at 100%. It's a soft edge. And then hold the Alt key down and choose your spot like that. And then just come along and clean up that edge. I'm not going to be too specific on this, just a little bit of quick cleaner, just to kind of knock down that effect. We don't want to go in too crazy on this. So just take your time and just do just a little bit of cleanup. There we go, just kind of making that edge just a little bit cleaner. And the same thing right down along the neck, right back in there. Okay, next thing I want to do is to go in and use the Spot Healing Brush. I normally leave mine at the proximity match. That seems to work out best for me anyway. Brush size 42 on this one. That's a pretty good size brush. Soft edge brush, of course. And then just clean out the, the most major things. I'll leave this bit in up here. That's kind of a birthmark, so I'll just leave that there. But I'll get rid of everything else that's really a problem. And just real fast, just kind of clean up. There we are, just going to just tap on them, and this usually does a very good job. You may need to adjust the size of your brush a little bit. I'm just going to leave it at this one size for a very quick one for this video in here. Just do a little bit of touch up like that. You can hold the space bar down to move the image around. And a little bit more. And get that out of there. There we go. Bit right there. And I think that looks pretty good. Maybe a few more spots up here. I'm not that concerned with the forehead. Okay, there we go. Looks nice. I think we've gotten all the major stuff taken care of now. Just kind of cleaned up some of those spots. Now let's go ahead and we'll do some skin smoothing in here. And for that, go down to the effects and we'll be using the Elements Plus plugin. Now this is a very inexpensive plugin, has lots and lots of great tools in it. It's about $12. I highly recommend this. And I repurchase this for each new version of Photoshop Elements that I get every single year. I think it's that worthwhile. And one of those tools down here is this one right there. It's called Scripts. Let's bring this up. Lots and lots of scripts in here. The one we care about here is Portraits. And in here at the top one is Frequency Separation. Let's click on that. And then all you do is hit the Run button here. And it goes through and it sets that up for you. Let's now go back to layers. You can see now we have some new stuff in here. We have a shapes layer. This retains most of your skin texture, details, and textures. Most of the time, all you need to use is the details one right here. You want to be on the layer mask side like that. Have your foreground color at black. Pick a nice size. I have mine here at 100 pixels, and that works out pretty well. And opacity somewhere around 30. 31 is okay. And then all you have to do is just come in here and then just paint right over the area you want to smooth out. And look how it's just smoothing out that skin just beautifully. It's not really losing all of our texture. It's just kind of softening things up and gives that skin that nice glow effect. Now, don't go too much on this. Whenever you're doing any kind of photo retouching, if you go too far, it begins to look fake. So just a little bit just to soften things up a touch. There we go. Stay away from any real hard edges like the eyelashes in there. You can hold the space bar down again to move the image around. And let's do right up in here. And hit that forehead in there. And I think we're just about there. Okay, notice how it's just softening up and smoothing up the skin, but we're still seeing skin texture. That's really what you want to do. And that's why the frequency separation is so useful, is that it allows you to do that softening without losing detail. Okay, let's go ahead and back out to fit screen. There we are. 
Let's now see how we did on this real fast one. I'm going to take this background, right click, duplicate that layer. I'll pull that up on top and show that. So there's the original and there's our fast photo retouch. I'm going to zoom in a bit because I see it even better. There's the original and there's our fast retouch using that frequency separation to help smooth out that skin. Let's come back down here to our background copy and take a look at that again right there. And again, that's in the scripts section in portraits right down here. And that's that first one right there, frequency separation. And again, this is part of that Elements Plus plugin. And there it is, again, elementsplus.net right there. They have a download demo, but it's very limited, not really that useful. But again, on the full version, it's only $12. You can see it right down there. Just choose the one that matches your version of Elements, run and install that, and then you have all those great tools available to you. So there you go. That is working with that Elements Plus frequency separation as part of a photo retouch project to help smooth out that skin. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share and subscribe. And check out the link in the description for my complete training for Photoshop Elements. And I'll see you next time.